The Ozark Adaptive Sports Association hosted their annual NWA off-road adventure this weekend. Five News reporter Parker Abels went out to the event to see why it means so much to all the participants. This week in Bentonville was the site of the largest adaptive riding event in the country, with over 40 riders coming from across the U.S. and Canada to participate and several others from right here in northwest Arkansas. And thanks to the Ozark Adaptive Sports Association, none of them had to pay a dime. We put this event on completely free. We bring the bikes in from Atlanta and we have riders coming from all over the U.S. We put this on for free in order to showcase all of the work that we've done. And although Sunday's activities were canceled due to weather, all the bikers still came together on the final day to eat and reminisce before going their separate ways. It just shows a, the passion for sports for everybody, even with a disability, that they're willing to come out no matter what, have fun, have a good time, and just enjoy themselves. I mean, there's, there's people... We were riding yesterday while it was raining. We were riding Friday while it was raining. We're riding today while it's raining. Riders across the country are starting to recognize Bentonville as the premier adaptive riding spot in the nation. Here in Bentonville is a perfect example of kind of the vision of what that looks like, which you have the support of the, the trail builders, trailblazers, um, you know, the, the local community here. Uh, the trails are epic. Um, there's a ton of adaptive riders, and it just became a, kind of a hub to ride at some of the most epic places. It's, it's the biggest sport in history. It's the biggest event in history. And um, I wanted to be a part of it. In Bentonville, covering news where you live, Parker Abels, 5 News.